drove into a crowd. It was Bastille Day celebrations, mind you. On Twitter, the former mayor of Nice, France, and current official says dozens of deaths have been reported. And they've urged people to stay home. Joining me now on the phone, on the ground in Nice, is actually uh, a longtime veteran uh, reporter and colleague, uh, NBC producer Bob Franken. Bob, what can you tell us on what's going on there? Well, Chuck, um, this happened at the aftermath, the immediate aftermath of a fireworks display to commemorate Bastille Day in France. Uh, when witnesses tell me that a big truck of some sort went on to the, uh, the pedestrian walkway by the Mediterranean on the Promenade Anglaise here in Nice and uh, started mowing down the people who were walking. One witness said the truck just quick, barely missed him. But uh, I counted for over a dozen bodies or people covered with sheets uh, and uh, obviously officials scrambling to get there and try and help those who were injured but had not been killed. Uh, no word on what the uh, truck happened to the truck. And we also have no word uh, other than speculation about whether right. this was some sort of coordinated attack. And what time did this happen? Uh, this happened about 11 o'clock uh, local time. Remember, mm -hmm. we're six hours ahead of uh, right. the East Coast. Uh, and it was immediately, as I said, after the fireworks display had been concluded. Well, it does look like, it, do you get a sense of what are the streets now like? Is there weird calm? Is there everybody scattered or people back at it? What, give me a sense of what's going on now. Well, at the moment, uh, the streets uh, up and down the Promenade d'Anglaise are, are empty, except for emergency vehicles, uh, people trying to work with uh, the, uh, the bodies and the injured, that type of thing. What the police were doing is uh, telling people to get on the beach, which is immediately below. Uh, and, of course, uh, some people did that. Others uh, raced away, screaming, that type of thing. As I said, one person uh, was waiting in a restaurant downstairs with his family. He says that uh, the truck had barely missed them.